Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Back up. Literally. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Well. Look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. Not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PD. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it can do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough? Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. 
For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Nuh uh uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No. But I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvian Gill eyeball it, then fast-track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human Pathfinder. I meant, who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is Peavy's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, want to talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this... stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah blah blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. <laughs> As for their hardest stuff, it was weird, which I like, but had almost no <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweights. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, Ryder. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. Don't worry, PB. The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. You're very understanding. And attractive. 
Nice combination. <gasps> think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Oh, come on, think. Think! I need... something. Who are you talking to? Ryder! Shit! You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just... talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Ugh! You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius! It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. That's all I need to hear. And this... should... do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. That'll be fun. Okay, then. Say no more. Oh, you mean... now? Here? <laughs> you do know what say no more means, right? Huh. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. <laughs> no, ooh, we're floating right into the... Uh... Ouch. Who cares? Ow. Going through the readouts from the KEP facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Is PB all right? Still can't get two words out of her, but she seems less tense after that stunt with the escape pod. I blame you. I've been having zero-G daydreams. Me too. Want to find a discreet place and make the dream a reality? Absolutely. Mm. How much fun are we, huh? Back to business, Pathfinder. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Puck, puck, puck. You're gonna be the gateway to so many great things, my friend. Hey there. You named her Pock? Yep. Proof of concept. To distinguish her from Zap, your souped up, nasty combat version. Zap? I like it. Yeah, it's edgy. The storage box from the vault on Eos was the key to everything, including integrating that piece of rent tech you got me. But our new Observer friends are just the beginning. I'm working on something even bigger. Sure, why stop and smell the roses? Getting remnant technology to work is so passe. I'm not one to rest on my laurels. So get this. 
We can only scan for remnant signatures we've already encountered. My scanner's doing that around the clock. But if I integrate the right Remtech, we could scour the cluster for any remnant signature, even ones we don't have. My scanner would literally become a remnant mystery detector. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Well, don't tell Lexi. She'll look for a cure. I came to Andromeda to touch the unknown. To find the never-before-found. Once I perfect this scanner, it'll do exactly that. All I need is three specific pieces of Remtech. We can do that. You? Rock. Pock and Zap think so too. So far, I've located the first piece. It's back on Eos. I'll upload the coordinates. Waiting for that Krogan to show? Just need to buy the Remtech piece off him, so I can perfect my remnant scanner. He and his crew keep showing up at sites we're targeting. It can't be coincidence. I think they could be following us somehow. That makes sense. It would be nice to know for sure. I'm working on it. Ryder, come in. We've got a problem. Go ahead, Callow. We've had an intruder. Got on board and into PB's quarters. Her bot is gone. Pock? Any other areas compromised? We're doing a full recon, but I don't think so. They left an impressive piece of Remtech and a recorded message, relaying it now. Ryder, it's Kalinda Terev. Pelisari is... well, whatever she calls me these days. Please tell her thank you for the nifty bot. I trust the Remtech piece my crew took will be adequate payment? Oh, and no need to wait for my Krogan friend, Kranit. He and his outlaws work for me. Ta. Shit! Why can't she just leave me alone? I take it you were lovers? Why? Think she's fixated or something? Ugh. To complete my scanner, I need access to the storage device in Pock. Kalinda's always been a troublemaker. Anything for a rise, and if there's a profit in it, all the better. I'm sorry you're catching her crap now, Ryder. You don't have to deal with this. I'll take care of it on my own, I promise. Hey, we're in this together. Uh... Thanks. When I have a lead on getting Pock back, I'll let you know. <sighs> Bitch stole my bot. You are my new best friend. Ah, Ryder! I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend... What's your name again? Samrick. Right, right. Samrick here's been so sympathetic about Pock being stolen. He used to run with our pal Kalinda, and he knows where her crews congregate. Safe houses, rallying points, etc. Well, that makes Samrick a truly important person. He's having some trouble understanding that. Look, uh, I appreciate the drinks and the flattery and all, but... Kalinda doesn't take kindly to people discussing her business interests. She busted me up pretty bad when she kicked me out of her outfit. I don't really want to repeat. You're sitting in an open bar on Kadara Port with us. Kalinda will know, and she'll assume the worst. Yeah, and she probably won't be satisfied the first 30 or 40 times you scream your innocence. So you might as well tell us what we want to know. At least that way you get another free drink. Well, shit. Guess I can't argue with that. And I am still thirsty. Thanks, Ryder. I think he'll cooperate now. I'll know where to look for Pock soon. Ryder, he's got Pock. She's broken, though. Guess Kalinda didn't take very good care of her. Hey, I don't want any trouble. I found this site abandoned. By scavenger law, it's all mine. Yeah, right. You made that up. Um, scavenger law? Scavengers get to make up the laws? No, then you could just make up new ones. <clears throat> well, I'm a businessman, you see, so I'm willing to sell if you see anything you like. Did you see where the crew that used this site went? No. They were trouble, though. Led by a pain in the ass Asari with a mean as spit Krogan toady. They've been picking remnant sites clean all over. Never leave anything worthwhile behind. But, uh, they screwed up and left some choice items here, though. You ever hear of an Asari named Kalinda Terev? That's the, uh, pain in the ass Asari I stupidly mentioned. <sighs> Please don't tell her I called her that, or next time I see her, it's my ass. Yeah? So you better do right by us. How much for that broken observer? What, this thing? 
Yeah, it may look trashed, but I assure you it's easy to fix right up. In fact, I could do it myself and make a killing, so uh, no discounts. Right. This guy's gonna put her back together. Let's get down to business. Okay, look, what do you think is fair for the Observer? Take this, and consider yourself lucky. Yep, that'll do. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll get her to the Tempest and put her together. Thank you, Ryder. Maybe this Kalinda nightmare is over. That would be nice. <sighs> yeah. Regardless, I can upgrade my remnant scanner now. Come see me back at the ship. Hi. One word? One syllable? That's not like you. I'm just mellow. I reiterate. I received this. Hey, babe. Sorry I broke your pet. It lacked versatility. Couldn't keep up. Maybe I'll do the same with your other new toy. Ta. She means you. I hate her. Don't let her get to you. <sighs> Can't help it. It's not that she took my bot and broke her. We got Pock back and I repaired her. Better than ever. Now my scanner's fully upgraded and sweeping the cluster for remnant signals. We won. So what's the problem? It's just... drummed up feelings I thought I'd put behind me. Turns out I just buried them. This is what happens when you let people in. You acquire baggage. I travel light, damn it. No baggage. Wanna go back to the escape pod and see what happens? Well, that could help. But... better not. I let Kalinda become important to me. Look where that ended up. Now you've become, or you're becoming, important. But you need to know, I resist checking out of this hotel every day. With accommodations like these, I don't blame you. <laughs> Funny. I just need a little space. Time to think. Hopefully, my now Remtech-infused scanner will pick up something amazing and make all this Kalinda trouble worthwhile. Where's PB? Who knows? Wake up, PB. Your mystery signal awaits. Uh, right. Okay, yeah. Actually, could you come here, please? My place. Straight away? <sighs> Callo. Hey, any luck finding a place to land? Nothing yet. Might take a while. Okay, PB, be right there. Straight away. PB? Back here. I won't bite. Uh, I'm not alone. Okay. I won't bite either of you. What's this about? Kala won't find a safe place to land the Tempest. Keep me on my toes, PB. I'm not used to being the reasonable one. I'm not doing this for the fun of it. The Tempest can't go where we need to be, and you can't get there from the ground. This is the only way in. In? Where exactly are we going? PB, where are we going? It's not my fault the signal's coming from inside a volcano. And we should land on stable ground, assuming my subterranean scans are accurate, and the impact doesn't alter trajectory too severely, and... And tell me you have a plan for getting back to the Tempest. Is that a thing? We came all the way to another galaxy with no plan for getting back home. All right, brace for impact. So, uh... Are you mad, Ryder? I'm not mad, PB. Make sure they don't get inside! A triple share to whoever brings me their sweet implants! Man, I hate her. Are you kidding me? How many guys does she have? Kalinda's about to get the device. And she's off. You won't make it, Kalinda. Too late, gal. It's mine. Damn it!
shit. Go! I'm good. Give me help! I'll give you everything I've got! All the relics, everything worth anything! Please! I don't want to die! Oh, crap. Oh, crap what? I don't want her to die, Ryder! But the device! It's not worth her life! Hey, stranger. How are you doing? Has she delivered? We just received a massive shipment of remnant tech. Quite valuable. And this. Palisaria, with my compliments, my crew won't bother you again, and you're dead. Always Kalinda. So she made good in her promise. She still doesn't strike me as someone to trust. Being a fingertip away from death can change a person. Still... Best if we scan everything she sent over. Better safe than sorry. I just wish we could have had that device. The scan data does provide a glimpse into how Remnant acquire programming, though. So we missed out on a key to unlocking secrets of the tech. But maybe came away with a glass to listen at the door. We do have a little bookkeeping matter to discuss. Ah, oh, nuts. Yeah, the Tempest is light, one escape pod. That's gonna cost me, isn't it? We'll get a new one the next time we dock at Nexus. Don't sweat it. Wow. Thanks, Ryder. But until then, what do I do for a bedroom? Mine's pretty big. And comfortable. Comfortable, huh? Never made much difference to me. Gee, that's too bad. But... People change, right? Who knows? Maybe even I can. Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. I'm just going to come out with it. I want you, Ryder. More than friends, more than lovers. I want strings. All the strings. If you don't want the same thing, I know how uncomfortable it would be to say it to my face. So, at the beep, just let me know. Do you want to be with me? For real? Either way, uh, join me in the meeting room, huh? Um... Beep... So, um, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. He just showed up. She did ambush me, but I survived. No harm, no foul, huh? I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This... family. That... that's really it. Uh, okay? About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. It's an ungotten holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but... PB, I want to be with you. Only you. A nightcap for you. When you're ready, call and I'll come running. With a surprise. PB. PB? I'm ready for my surprise.
Hey, yeah. Come. Join me. Oh, no, no. You don't give the orders here. Whose surprise is this, anyway? Maybe that's the surprise. Even on your back, you keep me on my toes. Let's reenact how we met. Do you know about Asari melding? Our bodies and minds weave together, become one. I've never trusted anyone enough. Never trusted myself. I've got you. You're safe with me. Scott! I... I can't believe it. It's so quiet. We are one. This is all ours now. I love, I love you. you. I want you to know, it was great before, but... That was just the tip of the iceberg. This now means so much more. This is where I belong. Nice speech. You've inspired the entire crew. They're running around like monkeys getting ready for the big showdown. But not you, apparently. You inspire me, Ryder. In ways that are surprising even to me. I've got Remtech repurposed all over the place. And Pox souped up and raring to go. We'll keep you in one piece. I don't like seeing you suffer. Without Sam, it looks like interfacing with the Remnant hurts. A lot. It would hurt a lot more without you. <laughs> I'll let the schmaltz go because I want a kiss after all this. Just a kiss? I like that I make you greedy. Smile for the camera, babe. Sam's broadcasting, everyone's watching. They all want a nice big close-up of the hero who single-handedly saved the galaxy. What about you? And now they all know you're mine. Well, hello. Hello yourself. Eyes front, try not to swoon. I want you... I want you more. I need proof. Soon. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. I don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I gonna do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun.